This is my second year at Miss Georgia, and I feel so much love from the Miss Georgia community. And it's because they hear my story and they say, your story does matter and it's valid and you're not alone anymore. And that's why I created my community service initiative, which is called Sunflowers Against Sexual Assault. When I was trying to figure out everything in the mess of the aftermath of sexual assault, one of my friends wanted to cheer me up. She's like, I can't fix your situation, but I can help cheer you up. But she would bring me sunflowers. And one night when I was having like panic attacks and I couldn't sleep, I decided to start Googling sunflowers to try to ground myself. And that's when I learned that sunflowers are nature's strongest flower. You can plant them in one direction. And if the sun's over here, they will physically turn and face the sun. And they can go a whole summer without water and, and they're in drought and they'll still stand tall and bloom. And that just seemed like a perfect metaphor for me. So forever, I just held that on. And anytime I would see a sunflower, it gave me a little bit of hope. And now I take that message out into communities. And in the past six months, I've spent over 350 hours on crisis hotlines talking to survivors in those moments after they've been sexually assaulted to get them to the support and care they need. I've been able to help raise almost close to $30,000 for different rape crisis centers in 2023. And I've been able to partner with 19 different rape crisis centers and child advocacy centers to make sure that they have a survivor there who knows what it's like to go through to talk to survivors, as well as just being able to feel supported by the Miss Georgia community.